the power of your faith in your healing and change of story. Matthew chapter 9, I will read from verse 27. When Jesus departed from there, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. When he was coming to the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said it unto them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? Do you believe that I am able, I can do this, that I can open your eyes? Do you believe it? Do you believe I can heal your disease? Do you believe I can make you to see? Do you believe I can open your deaf ears and make you to hear? Do you believe that Jesus can make your legs to walk again and your hands to hold and to feel again? Do you believe that Jesus can cause your Dumbness to be terminated. Do you believe Jesus can heal your sickness or your disease? That's the question. Do you believe it? There are many who come to ministers for prayers who don't believe nothing. Why do I say so? Whenever you come to a minister for prayers and you are prayed for, and you still tell the person, please, Keep on praying for me. You don't believe nothing. You don't believe nothing. Once has God spoken, twice have I heard this that power belongs unto God. Anytime God speaks, the results must be accepted as having been delivered. <laughs> he said, when you stand praying, believe that you have received and you shall have. Believe that you have received and whatever it is that was prayed for, prayed about, you are going to have it. What things are you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. What things soever, whatever it is that you desire, healing, deliverance, restoration, what things soever you desire when you pray, Believe that you have received them and you shall have them. So at the point of prayer, faith must be in place if you must see God walk. When he was come into the house, the blind man came to him and Jesus said unto them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They said unto him, Yes, Lord, we believe you are able. Many come and they say, no, we don't believe you are able. We have a doctor. After prayers, we are going to the clinic. After prayers, we are going to the hospital. After prayers, we are going to the herbalist. You know why? Because they don't believe that God can do what he has promised to do. They believe that doctors who we are trained by human beings will do more than God can do. What an error. Once you believe that a human being can do more than God will do, God will let you. God will allow you. Go and face life. Because his glory he can never share with any man. Never. Never. So when you come to God, you must believe for whosoever must come to God must first of all believe that God is. God is able. God is willing. God is ready. God is competent. God is powerful enough to do whatever you are looking for. He wants to do it now. Because now is the appointed time for God to walk. You must believe. If faith is out of place, you are unfit to receive from God. If faith is out of place, you are unfit to receive from God. When your faith is not in place, you incapacitate God from working on your behalf. When your faith is out of place, you incapacitate God from working on your behalf. For God to walk, faith must be in place. Do you believe I am able to do this? And they said to him, yes, Lord. We believe you are able to do this. Then Jesus, after their confession of faith, 
Then Jesus touched their eyes. Jesus touched their eyes. They were ready to receive his touch because of their faith. Your faith attracts his touch. Who has believed our report? And to whom is the arm of God revealed or demonstrated? Only to believers who believe the report. When they confessed their faith in Christ, then they were ready for his touch. You are not ready for the touch of the Lord unless your faith is in place. When your faith is ready, then you are ready for his touch. When your faith is ready, then you are ready to receive. When your faith is ready, then you are ready to see him at work in your life. The question is, do you believe? Then Jesus touched their eyes, saying, according to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes were opened immediately. Their eyes we are opened. Their faith attracted his touch. And the moment his touch came, then their eyes were opened. Your miracles are not beyond your reach. If your faith is activated and in place, once you can believe all things are possible to him that believes, then touched he their eyes, saying, according to your faith, not according to the faith of God, not according to the power of God, no matter how powerful God is, until your faith is in place, you are going to limit God, unless God chooses to override your will. You must be willing to accept heaven's verdict, believe it, and then you can activate the power of God. According to your faith, be it done unto you. And their eyes were opened. And Jesus straightly charged them, saying, See that no man know it. Don't go and share testimonies. Today, pastors are eager to announce testimonies of what God has done. It's not a crime. It's not a crime. But here, Jesus was not advertising his miracles because he was not looking for any approval from any man. No. Don't tell anybody. But when they were gone, they spread abroad his fame in all that country. Their faith was the key to their healing. Your faith is the key to your healing. Your faith is the key to your change of story. If you desire a change of story today, please believe. For whoever believes Whoever, whoever, whoever believes shall be saved. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Gentiles. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that believe and call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But when they call, they must believe. For whatsoever you desire when you pray, when you call, believe that you have received them and then you shall have them. My prayer for you is that your faith will come alive today so that you can receive your miracles today. Your change of story is guaranteed in the name of Jesus Christ. If you need the healing torch and your faith is ready, I speak to you today, be healed. From your head to your toes, be healed. Be healed of cancer. Be healed of tumor. Be healed of diabetes. Be healed of high blood pressure, be healed of asthma, be healed of ulcer, in the name of Jesus, be healed of stroke, in Jesus mighty name, be healed of deafness, be healed of numbness, let that tongue be loose to speak plain, in Jesus mighty name, let that crepe rise and walk now, in the name of Jesus Christ, every planting of the devil in your life is uprooted, I cast out every spirit, harassing and oppressing you right now, in Jesus' mighty name, I command that you will be delivered. I proclaim your liberty now. I proclaim your supernatural restoration right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are loosed. Woman, you are loosed. 
Barrenness is terminated right now. Katie loka prudaya. Inu schooler prayer. Losses upon losses are ended. Never again will you have any miscarriage. In Jesus' mighty name. Everything that God has not done in your life, everything the devil has done in your life, I declare them destroyed right now. This is why Christ came. This is why he sent me to destroy every work of the devil. And right now, whatever is the work of the devil in your life is declared destroyed. You are loosed. You are free. You are delivered. You are liberated. You are restored. Live and not die and declare the works of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. The new day for you. All is the new day. Kaku ti ko paraki flati no si. Graktush kale na brahani ko sitai. Elo kanaru bandiye kartus kilo bahan kutalia. Manush kilo farakati. Katuka pluda sula ko mapandia. Rektake na kulatu se ko brahani. Zedole. Karake ku katala sulu praktuna kapalia. It is done. Not by mind, not by power, but by Holy Spirit. The power of the highest is upon you right now. You are loosed. From thy often infirmities, you are loose. She go to Pragi Shula Fraki Mate. Rokan Praki Tuskela Aruke Ponandi La Katia. Zikla Kru Pradis Kakatoka Lura Puna Sikatia. Loose them. Satan lose them. Lukapu Sakadia. You are loosed. You are free. In Jesus' mighty name. Then he told your eyes. When their faith came alive, then he told you, I believe your faith is alive, so you are free. The testimony is guaranteed. Peace. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Love you.